but then I noticed that she was going to her car and it was kind of like now or never like you might not see her again and you feel like she was highlighted to you so I was like okay so put it in reverse and park the car and I ran over and knocked on her window and I just explained I'm like I saw you sitting in there I just felt like I was supposed to come and ask if there's anything I could pray for you for I don't know maybe you're going through anything or not, but I would love to just pray with you. And she almost started crying. She was like, I just got a phone call while we were in the restaurant from um, someone that my best friend just died. And so I got to pray with her for peace. Um, and then she also had some, she just had surgery and had a lot of back pain. So I got to pray for her. And I was like, I don't, I was like, I'd love to pray for you uh, for that back pain to go. I was like, I don't have to like, touch you or put my hand on you or anything, I can just pray. And she was like, oh honey, I'll take a hug. And so like, I got to hug her. So I told Aaron, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna lead anymore. You get to lead now as we're walking around Walmart. So I was like, you pick the next person we talk to. So um, he was like, I think we should pray for that man right there who's walking away really fast. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we booked it after him. And he was like, well, thank you. That really made my day. So it was funny. Right when we pulled in, there was this lady getting her cart. And I had just been thinking about, oh, I haven't given my painting to anybody. And so I saw her and I'm like, okay, I know it's for her. So we went in and I, when we were in the same aisle, I said, excuse me. And she kind of turned around and I started to like explain, like me and my friends were drawing this afternoon. And like I, I took a step towards her and she kind of like took a step back. And so I was like, okay. And I just like talked a little bit louder. And, and um, so I just explained, I drew this and I felt like I was supposed to give it away and I feel like you're the person I'm supposed to give it to. And her face like totally changed even behind her mask. You could just see like a difference. I said, you guys go, you, you do what you do and do it. And so they had a pretty cool encounter to let them yeah. have. I saw one of the workers, she was like scrubbing down one of the glass um, lid thingies. And I felt like I had a word of knowledge for like neck pain for her. I was kind of nervous to ask about the word of knowledge. So I, I approached it kind of like, I'm learning to hear the voice of God, so you know, it's okay. And so I was like, do you have um, any neck pain? And she's like, oh, well, I have migraines and sometimes it like comes down my neck. I was like, okay. And so we prayed for like all those different things and she's like, wow, thank you guys so much. So, and I saw her once and I was like, hi, how are you? She was like, good. And then I was like, just kind of like chicken out and like walked away. <laughs> So I went back up to her and I was like, I know this is going to sound really weird and like crazy, but 
I was wondering if you have anything you need prayer for because I'm just going around today like blessing people because all the chaos going on, just trying to spread the love. And she was like, well, I have a really close relationship with God and my family is fine, but you can like pray for me just if you want to. And I was like, okay, cool. Her name was Nancy. She was really, really nice and prayed for her. And then um, I saw her when we were praying for the other lady, like smile at us and just like kind of <laughs> wave and I was like, <laughs> yeah. She also mentioned she had plantar fasciitis in her foot and she had about 4 out of 10, 4 or 5 out of 10 pain, I think she said. And so we prayed for that and she said that felt better. So that was good. So I just feel like the Lord connected people. I was telling Rob, I feel like he almost is keeping us in check saying, look, these are people you're going to see again. You know, just be, just be prepared. Um, just be prepared to encounter them and keep encountering. So. He was kind of confused, I guess, but like, I guess like, he, he talked about God, like, that he, like, that he believed in the Bible and stuff, but he doesn't go to church anymore, and he hasn't, like, accepted Jesus into his, like, life, um, because he's, like, waiting, um, I guess, like, he wanted to be better when he went to church, like, a better person, we were just kind of telling him that, like, God is always waiting for him, like, very eagerly, and that it doesn't, like, matter, like, if he's perfect or not, like, so that he's always wanting him, like. Sit on his porch for a while and, and let him talk and not, you know, we were looking for an opportunity to interject, but then I realized, I'll just let him go for a while and we could hear his heart. One yeah. thing that was a little weird is, like, he said he was going to accept Jesus as a Savior, but he said he wasn't ready. This keeps us honest when we're ministering in our own hometown that now you have a relationship started. Now you know Mike, so you run these streets all the time and you have time to swing in and, and keep feeding that and cultivating that. We were just talking about how we can bless our waitress and our waiter about how we should try doing this whenever we go out eating just to try to bless them. And then uh, we were talking about what we can do to bless them and I just kind of got this thing about um, that we should feel like they would God a lot more plan for them and for whatever reason they were still working here God could help them through it. Listen, I just told her about Jesus said that you know we should remember the sparrows and um, that we're of much more value than the sparrows and so sparrows fly around and they're busy looking for worms but they're not doing it out of a sense of worry. But while you're trying to get stuff accomplished don't miss the opportunity to have fun in it to have the joy in it too so and she was laughing and yeah. she said that is just totally me so while tina was away uh going to the ladies room um the janitor yeah no, I, was, Eddie. I was there were you there for that yeah oh uh, the janitor, <laughs> Eddie. she was she was holding it Sorry. And, uh, we asked eddie uh if he has back pain and he said yes i do and so i said come here and so we laid hands and prayed for him, and he said his back felt better, all the pain had gone. Tina said, is there a park? Is there, like, I, I just got this sense of going to a park. And, uh, and I said, you have flip-flops on and a tattoo. And she's like, yes. And I said, I, earlier today, I was drawing a picture, and God showed me that this was going to be for a lady uh, who had flip-flops and a tattoo. And I opened, unfolded my picture and I said, here's the picture. And I started showing it to her. And she said, this is really so cool because she had just given her life to the Lord in, in December. December. She said, I grew up Baptist, but I walked away from the Lord because I saw so much pain and it really hardened my heart. You were able to give away your, um, your so, picture. My you picture about was that? of a very badly drawn monkey. So we kept walking. I see a second family. Their daughter's five years old. I'm like, this might be the family. So I talked to them, I say, and then I talked about that, and then Andy said something about how it might have to do with like fear, like how she wants to feel safe, and how there's a lot of fear. And, she, and the lady talked about, um, the mother talked about how she, she just divorced her husband, and she's, her daughter enjoys being around her more than her husband. So like, I was like, I think this is. She has to go back and forth, so we just prayed for peace and safety. Um, my picture was, um, uh, chocolate chip cookies, like all the ingredients. Even as we're walking in, I hear overheard her talking to her friend something about chocolate chips. And I was like, That's okay, because I was like, is that her? Which one? And it was like, she said chocolate chips. I was like, it gotta be her. Uh, I asked her 
what's going on? And her foot was all swollen. And I said, what happened? And she said, they don't know. It's been like this since September. So um, I'm, I was like, well, I know what can help you. I'm, I want to pray for you. And, um, and she's like, okay, great. But you know what's neat is that every team had things that God did. She was holding it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>